Hello everyone, this is Ayatha back again with another video. In this video, uh, we are going to build a media player app using React Native. Uh, in the in earlier videos, uh, I have a kind of created a Spotify clone. And in that Spotify clone, I was uh, trying to uh, implement uh, song API and uh, adding a local local music as well like uh, the music that are stored inside your phone and access that and display them but uh, unfortunately i have a st uh, I, uh, I couldn't find any apis for apis to integrate any free version of the api so that's why i'm not continuing on this on that project and uh, on that project is only like a spotify ui clone and in this video i'm just gonna create a music player app where uh where in first page in first screen when a user go user will open the app they will see a list of all the musics that is stored in their phone and on the when user click on that they will go to the play screen and there they can play the music so this is whole description and uh, we are going to use expo for this uh, we could have used uh, React CLI as well, but uh, I find it like uh, we can do it in Expo quite easily. And uh, even if you want on CLI as well, comment down in the description below, and uh, I will try to create on create this on uh, CLI as well. But uh, so let's get started. And uh, here uh, I am running my mm, real device. Uh, uh, Android emulator, sorry, Android uh, device, and uh, and just screen casting it over here. So let's uh, let's just uh, remove this one. And below this, uh, actually, first thing that we will need to do is uh, use React na navigation, but uh, we can uh, just. Uh, do some stuff first like uh, rendering uh, a list over here and uh, grabbing uh, fi files so let's make the ui first and after that uh, we will just uh, make this so let's get a view and inside the view there will be a text and the text would be like uh, some music name like uh, thunder Okay, so this is aligning this to the center, but uh, we don't want this to be th uh, at the center. So just uh, remove this align items and justify content, and this will go over here. And uh, while we use the React navigation, this will uh, create a header. And uh, I think uh, I think we need to create the React navigation first, and after that we will move forward. And uh, for the React navigation, I'm quickly going to implement that and uh, there will be uh, I'll try to explain but uh, for now I'm not I'm not focusing on uh, much explanation in react navigation as uh, I have already created a, a react navigation videos uh, I will put that in a description below and you can watch that from there so for react navigation I'm just uh, I'm gonna quickly grab the code from here just install it okay so install native and once you install that we need to install the expo packages and, and then we just need a uh, stack navigator that's also in yarn i'm using yarn so that's why i'm choosing yarn uh, if you're using npm then you can go with the npm over here and uh, now uh, let's just uh, create a folder name sorry src inside the src there will be uh, on the directory called uh, screens inside the screen we're gonna put uh, uh, one is home screen.tsx uh, and Okay, home 
screen and one more screen that I'm gonna put is uh, play screen where whole UI of the uh, music player will be there and inside this as well this is a play screen and uh, if you guys are wondering how I'm just uh, using RN app and uh, this whole template appears uh, you can install a pack uh, extension called uh, react native um, let me show it react native tool and uh, es7 react native Redux. Uh, both of them I guess uh, I, I think this one actually this one is for debugging debugging or other stuff but, uh, for react native of course once you install this now inside the app we can create uh, export cost navigator later we will separate this but uh, i'm just uh, trying to do it uh, do, do the new navigation part part uh, as fast as possible check navigation stack from there and we can just import uh, create uh, stack navigator and inside here navigation container Sorry, it should be new navigation container. I'm not sure why this is not importing. This is navigation container and then stack dot navigator and uh, the one with stack dot screen. And the first screen would be sorry, actually. and uh, name would be like first one will be home, and the second one sorry, this is the component, and inside the component, I'm gonna put home screen and. Uh, And here I'm gonna put uh, play screen and this will be play only great and uh, now we gonna just uh, return this uh, navigator over here just save this and hopefully this will work okay I need to restart the servo just reload it we can remove these styles from here Yes, so our React navigation is implemented successfully, and uh, there is a uh, few more things that we need to do for uh, TypeScript. Of course, we are using TypeScript, that's why we need some of the stuff for types and all. Uh, and I'm just gonna copy paste it from the video player app that we have created. And I'm, uh, we are gonna use uh, many code from the, uh, here i think uh, because of both of the th things like video player and media player are, are quite similar they are using same packages so set src index we can just uh, copy this and uh, paste it over here and this should not be home 
so not a video but play and uh, it's undefined later we will define some params that we're gonna pass so import the navigation props and route props as well sorry okay so both of the things are imported and inside here we're gonna just put uh, stack params okay great so this is how our home screen looks like right now inside the home screen we're gonna just uh, create a styles create and let's keep a root and that would be flex one and uh, here sorry not class style styles dot root okay so now let's uh, grab a sc scroll view and uh, why this is not uh, imported already i mean usually this would go in this would import it without even defining but somehow it's not working so we just do it manually and inside of view there will be a text called uh, like this is the let's keep the background of uh, one great and uh, this would be like box and I'm gonna put some styles on box as well and uh, so it'll be like uh, border bottom width would be one and border bottom color to be Gray. Okay, let's say this and uh, box should have a height of uh, like uh, 10. No, uh, actually 50. And this would have justify content center and uh, mass and horizontal that would be 20. Uh, seems good we can put uh, more heights 60 will be fine and one more thing that we need to do is we need to wrap this inside a touchable opacity so that when user uh, tap on the song and they will navigate it to the next screen and uh, from there they will uh, from their uh, music will play handle navigation escape const handle navigation Okay, to do we gonna implement this and we need to import it again. This oh okay, so this one is imported. So we have uh, kind of created a, a UI where we're gonna display our songs and uh, to display our songs so we need uh, some packages over here and uh, that package name is uh, media library from expo
just grab this and uh, just install it earlier we used to install expo permission as well but uh, now these days uh, expo permission uh, i mean permission package is already installed uh, already added to all the packages like uh, i'm going to show you just uh, give me a second uh, we can just copy some of the codes from here from this project create, create native video player that we have already created and from there we're gonna just copy from 23 line number to 41 and I'm gonna just uh, paste it over here let's import all these things state and uh, for media library we need to uh, import the media library as well so just uh, once let me uh, just write the code and after that i will uh, explain it to you and instead of uh, like uh, we don't need to use uh, permission package we can just uh, use media library dot uh, get permission and sync and there is no need of uh, passing any arguments in this so this looks great now and here the thing we are doing is uh, like uh, we, we have initialized a state where we're gonna store our all the musics and uh, we have wrote a function with uh, promises and this function is executed as uh, in the side the use effect as soon as component loads and uh, first of all we're gonna get the permission and once the uh, status is confirmed like a status is granted we're gonna get uh, get access it sets a sync and this needs an option inside the option we're gonna pass what type of media we need and uh, right now here it is video but uh, we don't need video we need audio so we just define audio and once uh, we get uh, data uh, media um, we get uh, data inside the media and inside the media there is assets and we can just set the assets uh, to our local state so just console the console log and see if there is data or not okay and uh, let's open we need to refresh this i guess sorry reload this so we just reload this and see if this asks for permission or not okay it, it didn't ask for permissions i don't know why uh, but let me see just uh, oh no no permission granted To some reason they didn't ask for the permission but uh, let me check let me check uh, we need to pass the request permission as sync all right request permission is sync and now this is asking for the permission and uh, once we allow the permission okay so once we allow the permission there is uh, one mp3 file available in my device so that's why it is showing one file over here inside the assets there is an array inside array there is uh, objects and object as all those i mean inside the array there will be uh, objects for if the mp3 files that we have okay so what we're gonna do is uh, map those data over here and media files dot map atom i and i'm gonna put return 
just cut it from here and just paste it here. and uh, instead of uh, like passing something dummy data let's just item dot uh, file name okay and let's see if this enters the file name okay great so as you can see there is file name and here is uh, this is showing a warning each child list should have a unique key and i hope you guys remember when we map the data we need to pass a key to the parent uh, i mean to the component over here and inside the key you are never supposed to pass a index you should not do that and this uh, causes a performance so, so it is a kind of important version for uh, react uh, interviews so to keep it mind keep it in mind and uh, we should use uh, id so this warning is no more and now here we're gonna put the navigation as well what we have defined is stack nav props so it's just uh, So here, navigate navigation dot navigate. We can use post as well, but uh, I like to use navigate. And great. So later we will pass uh, some data. Uh, I mean media files to here as well. But uh, right now I'm not uh, doing this. We will do this in the upcoming videos. And in this video, we're just gonna uh, navigate to play screen just by clicking on this. So this is our play screen. So we have successfully, uh, I mean, got the data from our local uh, local storage, I mean, phone storage, and displayed it over here, our music files. And the next upcoming videos, uh, we will implement the complete UI of the, uh, I mean, media player app and. Um, uh, I hope you like the video. If you like the video, consider subscribing and uh, thank you for watching. And the next video is coming very soon, maybe in the next week. So to, um, to like it or to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.